Hi there and welcome to our little video. Today we're going to teach you how to do some really cool stuff. We're going to teach bartenders, bar owners, bar managers, and even your friendly neighborhood beer up how to do something they've always wanted to do. And that's be able to manage inventory and order process right from the palm of their hand and do it in real time. Please pay attention to our announcer type guy as he walks you through the video. Enjoy and thanks for watching. So you've downloaded your app after getting an invitation by email or text with a temporary password like X4YN3W, something like that. This is the screen where you can choose and put in a real password that you can actually remember. If you haven't done it already, put in your personal password. Now that we've got that password thing out of the way, let's take a quick tour of the home screen, which is where you are currently. You will notice six key buttons, two at the top and four at the bottom. The top left is the back button. It takes you back to the screen where you were before. The SteadyServe logo takes you to the home screen. The question mark button takes you to the help screen. At the bottom, from left to right are, one, the keg button, brings you to the listing of kegs in your establishment. Two, the shopping cart button, shows you the list of your most recent orders. We'll talk more about orders in a moment. Three, the reports button, looks like a pie chart. Four, the more button, dot, dot, dot. It takes you to the menu of other stuff that we'll be talking about coming up. Okay, here on your home screen, you'll see all the kegs in your cooler with a percentage of beer remaining and they're color coded. You can scroll down and they're in order of the kegs that are running out. Green is full or just tapped. Yellow is about half full. Red is below half and running out. And black is almost out. Touching on any beer brings you to a screen that has the details of that keg. For instance, this keg is 100% full and has 105 glasses to be sold. Plus we see the history of that keg, if it's been reordered, as well as kegs of a similar style, either on tap or available in your inventory. But look at that big yellow Create Order button. Touch that button and you can reorder the keg. The new screen has your distributor, the beer, and quantity. You can change the quantity, then add the item. You can even go back up to the product box, type in another beer, and add it to your cart. Scroll down and choose how to deliver your order. Email, text, or call your distributor sales rep. Then touch Place Order to place your order. If your distributor supports EDI ordering, you will see an EDI button here. When pressed, it will add your beer order automatically into your distributor's order and inventory management system. Remember how earlier we showed you the shopping cart button at the bottom of the screen? You can now touch that button and see the order you've just sent in. You'll also see a list of previous orders and their status. Touching an order gives you further information and status on that order. We've gone over how to see your inventory of kegs and how much beer is left in them, plus how to reorder a keg. Now let's talk about a few more of the cool features under the More button. Some of the stuff under More are the usual housekeeping items, like changing your password or updating your profile items like your phone number. If you're in charge of more than one location, you can touch the Locations button and check on your other establishments. The two main items you'll use under More are Alerts and Invite. Alerts allows you to set up an email or text alert when a keg gets to a certain percentage of beer remaining. You start by touching New Alert slash Settings. This takes you to a screen that has your current alerts listed if you already have some. You can touch the alert to get more details. To create a new alert, touch Create Subscription. This takes you to the Set Up New Alert screen. You choose an alert, in this case, Keg Depletion. Your location is already filled in. In the next box, you type the beer product you want to be alerted on. For example, let's choose Purple Haze. Next box, you put in the keg level when you want to be alerted. So if you want to be alerted when Purple Haze gets to 20% left, put in 20. The next two boxes have your email address and cell phone number. Then you pick email, text, or both. Hit Save, and the next time Purple Haze gets to 20%, you'll be alerted. In your alert settings, you can create an automatic social media post to alert fans to how much beer is left. If less than 20% is left, the app will alert fans to come and get the last of the keg. This function allows you to promote beer for your establishment, as well as sell inventory that's almost out of stock. Touching the More button, you'll also see the My Alerts button, where you can touch and see past alerts you've received. Right below that is the Invite button. This is how you can invite your coworkers or employees to the SteadyServe iKeg app. Touching the Invite button takes you to the Invitation screen. First, you choose the role of the invitation. In this example, a bar owner is choosing a bar manager. Fill in their first name, last name, email address, cell phone number, and time zone. 
Touch the invite button and they'll get a text and email invitation just like you did. They'll be downloading the app and watching this video in seconds. So what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Have any questions? There's a couple ways to reach us. First, walk into the cooler and look for the giant red sticker with the 800 number on it. Dial us up. We'd love to talk to you. Second, ask one of your coworkers. My guess is somebody in your bar has used the iCake system somewhere else before and love to show you how it works. Third, go to the app and click on the question mark at the top or the dot 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 on the bottom. It's going to take you to our help page. From there, you'll find all the resources that you need to learn more about the iCake system or how to reach us. Thanks for using the iCake system. Cheers.